Ladies and gentlemen, this is how you acquire the metal detector and be able to grab the buried stashes on the Kuiper Rico Islands in GTA Online. First and foremost, the metal detector. To acquire the metal detector, you have to go to either of these 10 locations and then kind of cross your fingers and hope that the random event for it will spawn. There's a total of 10 different locations and personally, I seem to have a little bit more luck in public sessions than I had in private sessions. I'm not sure if it's bugged, but because there is so much going on in GTA Online in terms of random events and things that you might already have and might not have already it might also be a little bit finicky having said that for me personally after having done about 10 invite only sessions and just two public sessions i seem to be having a lot more luck in those public sessions so try mixing it up see if you're getting a little bit lucky in one session or the other as soon as you get near one of these events though a blue dot will spawn on your map and you can just simply go to the skeleton and right next to him you will find the metal detector it really is going to come down to kind of luck here really unfortunately and there's not much i can do other than as soon as you were in a session that didn't spawn the event just find a new one and try again pro tip by the way you can use something like a jet or a hydra or anything that flies you don't actually have to be on foot or in a ground vehicle as soon as you have acquired the metal detector, what you then want to do is go to your Kasaka and fire up a gather intel mission for your Kaiperico heist so you can roam around the Kaiperico islands. Then you want to open up your map and have a look out for these two areas where you can then go to and then start looking around with your metal detector. Now for completion's sake, I'll be showing you a quick way of how to get there in the best and safest way and also a little bit speedier. Obviously, if you want to be a little bit safer, you can just go on foot alone it will be a little bit slower but it might be a bit easier to avoid those guards if you are struggling with that having said that just keep a close eye on your minimap to make sure you're not getting in any of the guards' cones and you should be all right As soon as you enter one of these two stash areas, you can then go and open up your metal detector by pressing the aim button on your controller or mouse. Obviously, this is the left trigger on console or the right mouse on PC. When you do so, you should start hearing beeps on the metal detector. Now, if this doesn't happen, don't worry. Your game is not bugged or anything like that. You're just simply not close enough to pick up a signal of the stash. So as you move about, you start hearing more and more beeps and they start to go a little bit faster as well. The rule of thumb is very simple. The faster the beeps go, the closer you are to the treasure. Until you hear the uninterrupted beep, which means that you're right on top of the treasure. At that point, you can then decide to let go of your metal detector and then look for for the treasure itself. It should be right on the D-pad on controller and probably E on PC. Once you picked up this buried stash, a whopping $15,000 is in your pockets and you can grab the other one as well. There's a total of two buried stashes every single day, so if you are doing a Kaiperico heist and you're going back, it might be worth to grab them if you're on your way anyways. And yes, in case you are wondering, these are separate from the existing treasure chest on the island. So if you were someone who was doing that consistently, you now have two more collectibles that you can do every single day. And that is all there is to it. That is how you get the metal detector as well as the buried stashes in GTA Online. If you enjoyed it or found it useful, make sure to leave it a like, subscribe for more. And if you really like what you see on the channel, make sure to become a member like Chloe and KFC Chicken. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you all later.